right? Yeah, the bundle is DIY. Is Credit Karma or what the credit statement score the right one? So Credit Karma is going to be a Vantage score, you guys, all right, for the third time. Vantage scores, okay, they came up 2005, 2006 to be an alternative to the FICO score. Lenders used to use both. Now they, lenders don't really use Vantage scores anymore. So they, they focus on your FICO score. So if you're using Credit Karma, you're balling on the budget, I ain't mad at you. Just when you're using Credit Karma, just remember to use the accounts only on there. The account's going to be accurate. You get an inquiry, Credit Karma going to tell you in five seconds. You know what I'm saying? So you can use that. How in the hell you get a 136 point increase? So Ernesto, this was a combination. We got a charge off, a collection, a couple inquiries removed. And on top of that, they paid their balances down. You know what I'm saying? So they went from like 80% utilization to like 30. You know what I'm saying? So boom. When you do everything right, when the credit repair company is doing what they're supposed to do and you're doing what you're supposed to do, that's when you see these big these big jumps right here. Um, if I'm added to someone's card, would I be able to use their credit? Yeah. So if you can add on to an authorized user, they can send you a card and you can use it, right? That's what I did with my brother, okay? That's why my uh, my score went down a little bit. <laughs> but, <laughs> but if you're adding somebody, you don't have to give them a card, okay? Uh, which credit card do you recommend? Depends on where you're starting at. If you're just beginners, go ahead and get that Capital One Platinum. Hit the link in my bio. Get the uh, Click the five starter accounts. The Capital One card is going to be in there. Discover is cool too. You can get pre-approved for those. You know, but of course, my daily cards I use is um, Amex Gold. You know, if you're traveling, Amex Platinum. Chase has some good cards, right? It just depends on what you what you like doing. If you like dining, get you a card that gets you four or five points dining, you know? Like my Apple card, when I buy Apple products, I got a whole bunch of Apple products. It gave me points from Apple stuff. You know what I'm saying? So do trade lines really boost scores? Yeah. But here's the thing. When you add a trade line, you need to have a base already. Trade line is like the icing on the cake. You know what I'm saying? You need to have a cake already built and, <laughs> and baked already though. You know what I mean? So you need to have some primaries, right? You need to have a couple credit cards, maybe a self lender, maybe a credit strong, maybe a rent boosters, maybe a rental karma, right? Some easy accounts on there and then you add an authorized user or two that's just gonna you know fill in the gaps how are you gonna give me advice when your score is 100 point less than mine Lou says all this ain't my reports bro these are these are client results all right so let me show you what, we, what let me show you how we get down bro so this is the cop this is the type of stuff we do all right these are client results all right client results you guys okay client results deletions deletions so you just tune it into my live obviously or you wouldn't have said something ignorant like that. I need your help. Big E, let's work. Text King to 908-498-7723. Um, I think today is full, but we're open 8 to noon on Saturdays, closed on Sundays. And then you can schedule something for next week if you need to. Text King to 908-498-7723. During that consultation call, we can go over your credit with you on the phone. Um, answer any questions you have. You know, Let you know timeline, all that good stuff. Let you know what plan you qualify for. If you want to sign up, that's great. We'll send you the onboarding link. If you don't, that's cool too. You learn some new knowledge and we'll even send you some links to some free stuff. All right.